Welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2019. So this is question number 22 and it is from the topic analysis. So let us have a look on this question. It says which of the following set is countable. So you have four options that means you have four set for which you have to determine the countability. So your first set is the set of all functions from q to q. Your second set is set of all functions from q to 0 1. Your third set is set of all functions from q to 0 1 which vanishes outside a finite set. And your fourth option is the set of all subsets of n. So these are your four options. Okay. So firstly what I will do I will introduce you a theorem. Okay. I will not say a theorem but a problem which is a very famous problem from the topic countability. If you have done this topic countability from the from the course analysis then you must have done that problem. Okay. So I will take it granted that you have proved that problem. Okay. Without that thing yeah, it will be little bit difficult to prove it here that will make this video very long and I don't want that. So let us begin. So this is the problem that I am talking. What it is saying, it is saying that the set of all functions from n to 0 1 is uncountable. Okay, that means if you have a set like this, okay, if you have a set like this, f such that f is a function from natural number to this set, right? then this uh, this problem is suggesting us that this set is uncountable right now what you know natural number is actually a countable set and you know rationals are also countable now since n and q have same cardinality that means if you have a set which is uh, which consists of all those functions from q to 0 1 that means for using this problem I can directly say that that set will also be uncountable right so that means if you have uh, this is this is option number two the set of option number two that is f such that n to uh, not n sorry this is q q to 0 1 right this set uh, is uncountable using this problem right uh, okay now coming to the option number one okay before coming to the option number one I will just uh, give you an example okay so suppose you have a set like this one two three four okay and you are trying to find out how many function uh, can exist between these two sets okay let us say this is your domain D and this is your codomain C. So, okay. So what is the formula for that? You have done it in the intermediate course. Okay. So you know that 2 to the power 2. This number is actually representing the number of functions between these two. Now, if you will increase this domain, not increase, if you will add some more any element to this domain, then what will happen? Number of function will actually increase. Right? Okay number of function will actually increase now in this uh, not so not domain okay if you will add an element to its uh, sorry I was confused in that okay now I'm correct if you will add an element to its codomain, domain then what will happen number of function will still increase okay and number of function um, will uh, will be given by this formula right so 3 to the square and this is 2 to the square so this is 4 and this is uh, 9 right so that means if you will add more element to the codomain then you will uh, you will get more number of functions right that means if you have a set like this f says that f is a function from q to 0 1 this set then this set will be a subset for this set you're getting my point or not this set is actually a subset of this set now you have already proved that this 
left hand side said is uncountable right now since it is uncountable that means since it is a superset of this set that means this will also be uncountable you are getting my point or not what what is my basic point is that if you will increase more number of element okay if you will add more number of element to the codomain then your number of function will actually increase okay the same will happen for the domain also but uh, in in our case domain is not there domain is uh, domain is domain remains same so I, i have to remove this thing okay now your second option is incorrect and what i have proved that your first option is also incorrect this this is what i have proved now coming to the fourth number option what your fourth number option says that power set of natural number right power set of natural number now since you have done this topic countability and uncountability i'm assuming that so i'm not going to prove that why it is uncountable but it is a very trivial fact there that it is uncountable everybody knows it so i'm not going to prove it okay this is a well known fact if you if you if you heard the word uncountability then uncountability actually means power set of natural number right so i'm not going to prove it this is also uncountable okay so this is fact fourth is incorrect and second and one are also incorrect that means third is correct now what i need to do i need to prove this third option third option right now i will prove it here for third option i will write the proof okay now uh, before starting this proof what i will remind you i will remind you two theorems okay so what what are those theorems let us see so it says the number of a uh, finite cardinality subset of a countability countable okay i will say it again number of finite subset of a countable countable infinite subset is countably infinite okay that means if you have a countably countably infinite uh, set then number of subset which are finite will be countably infinite right that means i will give you just example for that if you have a this set natural number right if you have this set natural number then if you are uh, collecting all those subset which are finite then that collection will be countably infinite okay this is what this theorem is suggesting us okay another theorem let us see it says countable union of finite set is again countable okay these are the th two theorems which will be needed to prove this thing okay now it says the set of all functions from q to 0 1 let us okay i am not proving this thing very rigorously i am just giving you a idea okay i will just hint you to prove it let us suppose this is your q and this is your 0 1 okay now what uh, this option says it says the set of all function from q to 0 1 which vanishes outside a finite set now suppose you have a finite set inside it let us name it alpha 1 alpha 2 up to alpha n suppose this is your finite set okay this is your finite set now it says uh, you have to take all those functions which will outside this finite set that means outside this finite set you will get image 0 and from this set you are getting 1 as your image you are getting my point so if uh, if i want to count those functions that that means those function will totally be dependent on this finite set okay if you will vary this finite set then you will get a different function okay what i am saying that if you have another set here let us say beta 1 beta 2 let us say a set with two element now this set a function which is not vanishing over this set beta 1 and beta 2 and it is vanishing on the rest that will be a different function from the function that we, uh, we we were talking earlier that means this alpha 1 alpha 2 up to alpha n the function which is not uh, uh, which has image 1 over this set and image 0 over the rest uh, is a different function from that you are getting my point or not so if you want to calculate or count those functions which will uh, which will vanishes 
uh, outside a finite set then you have to count all the finite subsets of q right now what theorem what what we have done in the theorem that for a countable set number of finite set is countably infinite okay countable actually means countably infinite okay now this is countably infinite that means number of finite subset of it will be countably infinite right you are getting my point or not so you are actually collecting all those functions okay you are co collecting all those functions that means you are collecting all those sets so we, uh, using that theorem what you can say that this thing will be countably infinite you are getting my point or not i will uh, i will say it again uh, it is a little confusing here what i am saying if you have this set q and f is a function from here okay let us say this is your finite set uh, this is your codomain i will make it again this is your q and this is your mm, zero one set right now this is your finite set now a function if a function let us say this is your function f f has image one over this set and for the rest it is it has image zero now for this function image for this uh, finite set is one and for the rest it is zero these two functions are actually different right these two functions are actually different so wh what makes them differ this set actually makes them differ right that if you if you will change this set that means you will get different uh, different function so from here what you can conclude that all those function number of such functions will be totally dependent on the number of finite subsets right so from here what you can say that the set of all functions from q to 0 1 which will vanishes outside a finite set are countably infinite okay so third option is correct okay it, it is a little bit tricky uh, to make you understand this thing uh, but if you will think it yourself you will get it right so first second and fourth are incorrect and third option is correct okay so thank you